Hey everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could quickly use an options profit calculator for a ratio call spread. And we're going to use Tesla in this example. And I'm going to scroll down here to the options chain. And part of setting up a spread is that you do have to choose the legs of the spread. And you put that information into the option profit calculator such as the strikes, the prices, and so forth. So what we do here is to make it very easy, we allow you to select those options from the options chain and it will auto-populate that information for you. So what I did here in Tesla was go to the next monthly expiration, um, or actually I went a little bit further on August 25th, and you could see here that when you select that, you get the options chain in Tesla for that expiration. Now we have all the calls and all the puts and the strikes in front of us with the prices. And let's set up a ratio call spread and run the option profit calculator from it. So I'm going to start out with the at the monies. Currently, uh, Tesla is right around 255. And I'm going to go ahead and start out with selling the call that's the first part of the leg and to do that i'm going to click on the bid of this call 1160 and as you could see the first leg popped up down down below selling august 25th 255 call for 1160 and then i'm going to go up and buy a call that's above that 255 strike so i'm just gonna for just this demonstration i'm gonna pick a random strike let's go up to, to the 280 call and i'm going to click on the offer to buy that call so you see 360 i clicked on the offer and now we have the buy august 25 280 call for 360 which is the current market price and since we're doing a ratio spread right now we have it set one to one just a regular call spread you can see here one call uh, on the 255 strike and buying one call on the 280 strike. So I'm going to go ahead and change this ratio because the ratio spread uh, has different um, amounts of contracts on each of those uh, contracts. So let's go ahead and raise this to two. So now we got selling one call on the 255 strike and buying two calls on the 280 strike and to see how that strategy looks like at expiration where where the profits where the losses um, based on different potential stock prices we're going to hit calculate and what's going to happen is that this looks looks at different stock prices at expiration and then calculates in a diagram where there are profits and losses. So I'm gonna just expand this range. So you can see this goes to 290, that's 5% around that, the money. So I'm gonna expand it to 20% to see what that looks like. And now you can see that we added more stock prices to up, going up and down that covers 20% um, around the current spot price. So what is this telling us? Well. We collected 440 credit for this strategy. And if the stock kind of just sits there at 255 or below, well, all these options will expire worthless. And you could see here that if the stock drifts lower, we're gonna keep that credit. Um, and it's basically, it shows profitability all going all the way down, uh, going all the way down no matter where where it goes then as it goes up well what will happen is we will start losing on that 255 call and as it floats closer to the long strike it gets worse so the worst part is if the stock closes at 280 um because at that point the we're losing on the 255 call because the stock keeps drifting above that strike. And if it closes at 280, those calls that we bought for 280 will 
expire worthless. So we lost all the premium for that. And that's right here at the 280 strike. That's our max loss. But what if the stock continues to go higher? Um, keep in mind, we bought two calls, right? So one, one of the calls will, will now hedge off the 255. And then we got this extra call. And as it's going up, you could see that we hit another break even around here, the 300, around the 300. And as it crosses there, it will now, it will go back into profitability. So what this has shown us, there are two ways to really profit from the current strategy and current market prices. One is if the stock just drifts lower, or if it goes up, it goes up in a volatile manner and explodes above this strike. And this is, a quick way to set up a ratio call spread and run a payout diagram to see where are your profits and losses at expiration. Hope this was helpful, everyone, and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.